yo what's going on guys welcome to the channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys a couple teams that you can use to fight against the brand new boss amigo but before i get started on the video make sure you guys comment like and subscribe and also turn that post notification bell so that you guys can always stay tuned as to when i post new videos i really appreciate it and if you guys are new here on the channel i created a brand new discord server so if you guys have any questions you can join the server by going to my channel description and you will see the link there and i'll also post the server link in the comment section down below but anyways let's not waste any time let's get right into the video we have currently 193 subscribers we're close to 200 subscribers i really appreciate the support you guys but anyways let's get to it so we have a brand new boss amigo shards so for the last event the coon event we had um the brand new ssr plus and now for this event we have this guy right here so right now i'm like rank 742 i'm like in the top 19 percent. that's actually not that bad considering the fact that you know i'm a free-to-play player and looking at these rankings you know you got all these whales who are like literally overpowered so i would say that my ranking is actually not that bad so the team that i'm using is this team right here and literally the best character against amigo is literally that is a heart that is a heart does so much damage it's absolutely insane so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a replay so i was able to do like 2 million damage against him now the biggest problem against amigo is of course his shield so you really need to use um kun ron or you need to use kaseya because kun ron is able to continuously take down his shield without kun ron you can't really take down his shield that much and for kaseya she can you know sometimes get rid of his shield but the reason why i have kaseya is of course to um put that i think she can put bleed on him i don't know i'm i might be wrong but um i use kaseya to do you know some bleed damage and stuff like that and then of course i'm using my huarun the only reason why i'm using huarun is for the shield because amigo can do a lot of damage because of his attack speed but i'm using huarun to put the shield on everybody and of course we're using evan for the immortality so that's pretty much the reason why i'm using this team um of course that is a hard that is hard does so much damage against him it's just crazy so we're gonna go ahead and click replay and i'm gonna use my last attempt against him as well now i heard that um kun ron has like a bug um someone someone said it said it in my comment section that he has a bug where in his skill he's supposed to not his skill but for his active he's supposed to dash towards the enemy and like get rid of their shield but for some reason he doesn't do that so i don't know i think he's bugged hopefully they fixed it i might have to like you know check um the tower of god website to see if they you know if they covered that because that's kind of a problem because kun ron his special skill he's able to get rid of shield but for his active he's supposed to get rid of the shield as well so hopefully they fix that and another big problem with kun ron is of course his accuracy i feel like for kun ron and kasei the biggest problem for those two characters is their accuracy they miss so much like the biggest problem with both of those characters is that they just miss too much like when kun ron does his special skill he just misses all the time so i feel like for those two characters you really need to build a lot of accuracy on them but if you can't really build a lot of accuracy like the only solution is to use like a character like apple because apple is able to reduce the um opponent's evasion so i don't know that's those are like my biggest problems with kun ron and kaseya kaseya she just misses a lot with her attacks and kun ron he misses a lot but the good thing about kun ron is the fact that he has attack speed so even though he misses his special skill he can still do a lot of damage because he's like you know a really quick character when he uses his lightning pill passive so as you guys can see the damage that that is hard is doing is just absolutely insane even though kaseya and kun ron died all you need is that is hard to stay alive and just look at that damage man when he does that meteorite attack he just does so much damage so the main character that you really want to use against Amigo is, of course, that is a heart. He's like the main character that can just completely counter Amigo. So we're going to go ahead and try to do another run. Now for Kaseya, I'm thinking about using another character. Vespa is not really good against Amigo because Amigo has status immune. He has the, um, the immunity, so she can't slow him down, which sucks because I thought that Vespa can slow him down, but she can't so vespa is literally not a good character to use against him um 
I mean, that imagine can she like destroy? I mean, she can lower physical resistance because he has the debuff. He has okay, so he becomes immune to status effects and debuffs for the rest of the battle. So you're really gonna have to you're gonna have to be very careful as of to which characters you're gonna use against him. Um, would the Evan Kill be nice because Evan Kill she can also like you know decrease the HP recovery by her target, but he's not really healing himself, so I don't really know about that. Uh, Yi was also not really good against him, so you're really like limited on you know which characters you want to use. I'm starting to guess like a character such as Apple. We're gonna test Apple real quick to see how Apple is able to do. So let's go and see what we could do. And of course, I'm gonna pick the attack. I pick attack, so we can do more damage. I feel like defense is if like you don't have good healers, and if you're dying a lot. But for attack, if we do a lot of damage, just use attack. So we're gonna go ahead and use apple so that we can lower amigo's evasion now hopefully he doesn't like he's not immune to that if he's immune to the the evasion debuff then that's gonna suck so let's see what we can do i'm gonna go ahead and do this manually because i feel like auto mode is a lot slower all right um we're gonna wait for apple skill there it is there it is acceleration increase so hopefully we can land our attacks more often instead of just missing them. Okay, nice. There we go. Doing some really good damage. All right, Evan with the immortality. Now Datazar will do his skill. All right, Warun, nice. Okay, Kunran died, which is unfortunate. But as long as our Dazahar can stay alive, we're pretty much fine. What? How did Dazahar die? There's no way. Okay, our Dazahar died, which isn't good. But we still did some good damage. Okay, Warun. Nice. so the apple on the team i feel like apple being in our team is not really that good because amigo is mostly focused on that as a heart but as you guys can see that is a heart still doing a lot of damage i feel like apple is not really a good um she's not really good on his team so that's why i'm using kasei because kasei is able to distract him because if i okay apple is in the back as well as Evan, so Amigo is mostly going to focus on trying to kill Dad as a heart. You want to make sure that your Dad as a heart is alive. So you're going to you're going to need like a couple characters to stay alive with Dad as a heart. So yeah, that's pretty much the team. The team is Dad as a heart, Warun, Kaseya, Kunran, um, and Evan. So Apple is clearly not that good in this team. Let's go ahead and check our record. So we're like our highest damage is still two million. So this is still our highest damage, and of course Dad as a heart doing like nine million damage. So I feel like this is the best team in my opinion because Kasei is able to keep Amigo distracted and Kunran as well. You just need you just need that as a heart to be able to do a lot of damage and you need him to stay alive past the one minute mark because once the one minute mark reaches, I'm gonna show you guys. Once the timer reaches one minute, that is a heart is gonna he's just gonna do so much damage. So you need him to stay alive once the timer reaches like you know one minute or 30 seconds so we're gonna go ahead and skip because my damage is really not that good as you guys can see the damage is really not that good starting from like you know one minute but once it reaches like 30 seconds or 40 seconds i think that's when dad is so hard is going to start nuking him we're just gonna wait Once it reaches around like 40 seconds, I think, or 30, that's when we're going to start nuking with Dad is a hard. All right, as you guys can see, look at the damage. The damage is starting to go up right now. Dad is a hard is starting to nuke him. And then once Dad is the hard, he puts the meteorites, like once he starts doing the meteorite attacks, that's when he's going to start doing damage. Look, look at this. 
and look his damage and it's just gonna go up from there look at that look at the damage that is that is crazy so that is a hard you really want to use him against amigo because he just completely annihilates him but like i said you want to make sure that that is a hard stays alive no matter what so that he'll be able to do a lot of damage past the 30 second mark once the the timer reaches 30 seconds that's when dad is a heart is going to straight up nuke him so make sure your dad is a heart is alive and make sure that your characters are able to distract them such as warun kaseya or kunran so that's pretty much the team um yeah uh compared to okay amigo compared to the last ssr plus i feel like amigo is a lot better and way he's he's way more fair i wouldn't say free to play friendly but he's way more fair to fight against because the game is giving us more options now. We have two characters that can destroy barriers, Kunran and Kaseya. So we're able to take down his shield. So basically we're giving oppor like the game is giving us opportunities to basically do damage against him. But compared to like, you know, the last boss that we had in the Kun Fall event, that was terrible. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like I didn't know how to deal with that guy. I feel like the only way you can deal with him is by using a, a tank unit that could heal like Rack, for example. Cause that guy was just absolutely ridiculous. Like this dude right here in the last event, his his boss battle was just ridiculous because he literally destroyed healers. He also destroyed um projectile units. So he was just really hard to go against. But I feel like for Amigo, he's way more fair because you can use your healers, you can destroy his barriers, and he doesn't really do that much damage. So this boss battle, in my opinion, I feel like this boss battle is a lot better way not easy but a lot better in terms of you know allowing players to use units to actually get rid of his barrier like they're giving us a chance to actually counter him but anyways um put your thoughts down below what you guys think about this boss is he easy is he hard i want to see you guys opinions but anyways i'll be leaving the video at that make sure you guys comment like and subscribe thanks for watching the video and i'll be catching you guys on the next one peace